have to just close it. It closed it? Yeah. That was Lauren Boebert missing the historic debt ceiling vote in the House of Representatives. And I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Lauren Boebert has now been caught lying to her constituents and the American people again, this time about why she did not show up to cast a vote when the historic debt ceiling bill went before the House of Representatives. Lauren Boebert made a video of herself and claimed the reason she did not show up to cast a vote one way or another is she was protesting. Here's what she posted on Twitter. She wrote, Call it a protest. There's absolutely no way to ever justify adding another four to six trillion dollars in debt. This is more DC self created garbage that I will always fight against. Here is the selfie video that she posted. Hey everyone, I am back in Colorado, but let's talk about DC. No excuses. I was ticked off. They wouldn't let me do my job, so I didn't take the vote. Once again, Washington's power machine shoved a multi-trillion dollar bill down our throats, refused to allow debate or amendments, disregarded everything we fought for in January to actually allow representatives to do their jobs. And instead, they served us up a crap sandwich. Call it a no-show protest, but I certainly let every one of my colleagues and the country know I was against this garbage of a bill and against bypassing the voice of each representative. Deals cut in the dark are why we are headed towards $36 trillion in debt, and I refuse to be a part of it. But of course, it was not a protest and Lauren Boebert was lying yet again. Here is the video of her showing up late and missing the vote. Play this clip. They just closed it. They closed it? Yeah. And that clip of Lauren Boebert missing the vote was posted by Morgan Rimmer, reporter who wrote, here is a clip from that night outside the Capitol showing Representative Boebert running up the stairs as though she was trying to make the vote and me telling her that it had closed already. Democratic Congress member Ted Lieu responded to this. Things happen. Virtually no member of Congress has made all the votes in their career. What is unusual is for a member to lie about why a vote was missed. Lauren Boebert deliberately misled her constituents about why she missed the debt ceiling vote. Hashtag Sunday vibes. Lindy Lee wrote, Bobo the Clown claims she didn't vote for or against the debt ceiling deal, quote, out of protest. Narrator, Bobo actually missed the vote entirely in yet another example of her egregious dereliction of her duty to her constituents. Keith Nagy writes, can somebody please add the Veep end credits to this? And Stephanie Kennedy writes, Representative Lauren Boebert, Republican from Colorado, has been claiming she missed the historic vote on the bipartisan debt ceiling deal deal because as she views it, the deal itself is a sandwich layered with feces. Boebert used stronger language to describe that sandwich, of course. No show Boebert has, and then Stephanie Kennedy posts the video. And we're seeing this consistently with these MAGA Republicans who continue to lie and don't understand the basic functions of our government. I mean, just the other day, Marjorie Taylor Greene incorrectly called the House, quote, one third of the federal government. I'll use what Lindy Lee said, narrator. The House is one chamber of Congress. Congress is one third of the three branches of the federal government. Play this clip of Marjorie Taylor Greene. Now, I don't know if you guys understand the numbers. We have 222 Republicans in Congress out of 435. So we barely control half of the House. And the House is only one third of the federal government. You've got the Senate and the White House. And in order for anything to be signed into law, you have to have all three. 
In yet another example in the past 24 hours, MAGA Republican from Florida, Representative Anna Paulina Luna, who basically is like the new George Santos with all of the lies that she tells about herself and her background. Here she claims on Fox that she's going to introduce a resolution to fine Adam Schiff $16 million. Play this clip. Go back to what you were saying about how complicit and how hard it's been to get this message out there. You know, um, I will credit this show and Fox for really doing right by the American people to provide a different perspective and show the truth on what's really happening in Washington. But, you know, social media was really a problem. And up until recently with Twitter, we really were fighting with one hand behind our back. And I will speak to Adam Schiff. Maria, I have a privilege resolution that I'm bringing to the floor, and we are going to find that man $16 million for using his position to lie to the American people and ultimately push something that not only destroyed our country, ripped us apart, but also too was responsible for almost, I believe, maybe even potentially permanently damaging foreign relations. He's a criminal. What he did was wrong. And Adam Schiff, you will be held accountable. And finally, here is a clip of Dana Bash interviewing MAGA Republican member of Congress Ken Buck. And Dana Bash goes, wouldn't Republicans be better off with a candidate who is not facing multiple criminal investigations and Ken Buck says no it makes you a better candidate when criminal charges are filed against you play this clip you have acknowledged more broadly that Donald Trump is facing some ethical challenges in his campaign in addition to what we're talking about the classified documents probe he's under investigation for election interference in Georgia uh, for January 6th he's already been indicted in New York would Republicans be better off with a candidate who is not facing multiple criminal investigations? You know, it's interesting. I think that uh, the multiple investigations and civil lawsuits that have been brought uh, almost give this presidential candidate and, and former president credibility. He keeps saying that the world is against him because he's trying to make these changes. But does he and, give and all of these give actions that are being taken? Sorry, forgive me, but does, you said give. I, I know what you're saying. He gives him credibility with the, maybe with some in the electorate, but for you, Ken Buck, does he give him credibility to you? Well, I, I have seen him for four years. I was in the House when he was president. Uh, I voted on his bills. I voted against his bills uh, sometimes, his budgets and, and whatnot. Uh, so I have seen him personally. I don't uh, look at the uh, actions that he has taken um, uh, that that are being investigated as much as his his role as a former president and and what okay. his policies were. Folks, we need a functioning government. Okay, do I believe the Democratic Party is perfect? Nope. Do I agree with the Democratic Party or President Joe Biden on every issue? Nope. But do I believe they are attempting in good faith to try to address issues that matter to the American people? Yes. Are they talking about jobs and are they talking about health care and are they talking about education and our seniors and our veterans and our military and protecting equality and a woman's right to control her body? Yes. They are protecting those things and trying to improve things. Meanwhile, you've got MAGA Republicans like Lauren Boebert who lie for a living. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe and help us get to 1.5 million subscribers. Have a great day. Hey, Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.